Hello guys and welcome to my latest video. So in today's video I'm bringing you Modern Combat Trilogy for uh, modern operating systems, specifically for uh, Windows 10. Um, as you may know, if you follow my channel, uh, I already made two videos about Mortal Kombat Trilogy in the last year. Um, as you can see, I made a, a video tutorial on how to play it in Windows 10 and Windows 8.1. Um, but unfortunately, um, this week I was um, I wanted to play some Mortal Kombat Trilogy again. And uh, what I found out is that, you know, as you can see, I have my, the latest version of, of Windows 10 installed with the latest updates. And unfortunately, um, Windows uh, 10 version of Mortal Kombat Trilogy, you know, uh, was completely broken. I was not able to launch the game, and I highly suggest that, uh, suspect that the problem resides with some video configuration and drivers. So I decided to uh, investigate everything again, and um, yeah, I was able to make it work, um, finding the correct files, and you know, it looks beautiful. Also, as you saw in the beginning of the video, I will teach you how to play it in LAN or online. So that's a pretty neat feature that I'm going to teach you in this video. So in the first part of the video, I'm going to teach you how to create your own Mortal Kombat Trilogy files, uh, you know, gathering the resources manually. And finally, I'm going to, I'm going to just give you um, the whole package already assembled. So you don't have to do anything, just uh, download the pack and extract it. Um, if you go to my webpage, grabisoftnet.com, as always, and if you go to the forum and register, you just have to wait. If you are new here, you'll have to wait until your um, account has been, um, you know, accepted. And once you're here, go to Hacking Games and look for the game thread to download the pack. So first, I'm, I'm going to tell you to go to the. If you want to do this manually, if you don't want to, uh, if you don't want to download my pack. Just go to uh, this web page, uh, cubanraulaltavista.org, Modern Combat Trilogy Index, and here you will be able to download the latest patch. As you can see, this guy updates the patch very frequently. Uh, the last patch that he made was in 2020, so it's very, very recent. And just download this one. So once you have this uh, little, um, you know, patcher or whatever, uh, I, what I'm going to tell you is just to get the Mortal Kombat Trilogy uh, CD or ISO. So as you can see, I have the Windows original uh, Mortal Kombat Trilogy ISO and also I have the Sega Saturn game. So um, it's all a matter of personal uh, preference because overall the game is almost identical. But uh, because it, what the patcher will do is extract the different resources of the game and convert it in, uh, into a, uh, you know, a, a Windows uh, game. But um, in, my, in my case, my personal opinion, I use Sega Saturn 1. So what you're going to do is actually have a, a program installed that it's able to mount images such as uh, Power ISO, which I have here. So go and uh, go and select uh, the number of drives one and mount the the game. So once you have the game mounted, you should have in your virtual drive the game selected here. As you can see, if you did, if you can see this, then everything was all right. <laughs> everything is working. So um, the game should be mounted in here. So now what you're going to do is uh, create another folder inside the desktop, and then uh, just execute Model Combat setup. So now uh, the patcher is going to uh, open up. Just wait a couple of seconds. So just click Next. And um, here, as you can see, he says that you can use the PlayStation 1, the Saturn, or the Windows, uh, or the DOS version of the game. It's the same. Um, so go uh, into your newly created folder. We're going to go into uh, Users, Gravisoft, and Desktop, a new folder here. 
and then just click in next. Then just click in all these little fixes that he made and um, just click in next and the game should be extracted all the resources into a new folder. So um, just let the installation finish. Now click in finish and we can now get rid of the images. So unmount all drives so we don't need the images no more. So you should have this game already installed, um, compatible if you want to play with DOS box, the DOS version or the Windows version. I personally like the Windows version so I'm just going to delete all this crap. And um, what I'm going to do is just rename this to MKTR. Just going to move the folder delete this and here you should have the Mortal Kombat Trilogy game. The problem with this is that uh, I mean it, it should work fine. We're gonna open it so the problem with this um, with this game like it is is that the video um, you can't really play it in full screen because uh, everything is going to look like in six, uh, 640 uh, by 480 resolution, so it's going to be super pixelated and very buggy. But at least you can know that the game now works, uh, you don't need any ISO mounted or anything, and also it, it includes the music, you know, the background music, which is a very big issue in this game. So the game works, but we now need to fix the graphics. You know, uh, you need to be able to play it in full screen. So I'm gonna uh, tell you to go now to deg.freeweb.hu digibudu2. So basically, what you're gonna do is just copy digibudu and just Google um, digibudu2 here, and the first web page that appears is the correct web page. So what you're going to download is this version, the latest version. Also, this dude updates his uh, wrapper, uh, you know, fairly frequently. So uh, just make sure to copy his his uh, password. Just copy it, download the pack, and um, we're going to do this real quick. I'm going to teach you how to do this. So just open the game folder here. Here we got the game, and uh, here we got the pack, the wrapper. So the wrapper should be able to, uh, you just have to select these two files, the executable and the config, just drag it inside the root of the game, paste the password, and then just, um, what, what we are interested in here is in the MS folder, and go to um, 86 folder and just select all these files. Um, now just drag it inside the game. Overwrite, and now the video. Um, we have to make some configurations now. So what you're going to do is open Digivoodoo CPL, and here what you're going to do is make sure that the root on the address of this uh, is, uh, you know, uh, referring to the correct path. As you can see, it's correct. So what you're going to do is go into full screen, best available. Um, we're going to choose aspect radio. Uh, 4x3 uh, uh, CRT effects, uh, then what you want to uh, do is go and um, select direct X and here uh, we're going to uh, select a force virtual, uh, you know, vertical synchronization and then disable DigiBoodoo. So with this uh, couple of configurations the game should look very nice. So we're going to just open it, the first time you open it it's going to be in window mode, normal, but once you hit Alt Enter uh, to maximize in full screen. The, the game graphics should be uh, fixed. Okay, so one thing about this game is that every time you want to close it, you just have to bring the test manager and close the game by that. But as you can, uh, as you can notice, um, the graphics in full screen uh, are, uh, you know, um, they, they look perfectly well, they, they look nice, and also it has a CRT effect. Um, so it, it plays nice. 
So what if you want to play the game with an Xbox controller? You know, in my case, I have an Xbox One controller. I'm going to just connect it in, in Windows. Just wait a couple of seconds, and I'm connected. So I have my wireless Xbox One controller here. And let's say you want to play it with controller. So what you're going to do is uh, download this next program named uh, Anti-Micro. So once you download this, <clears throat> we're going to download it really quick just to show you guys how do, how do I personally do it. Um, it's very simple. It's very, a very simple procedure. Um, you want to get uh, an installer. Let's see if it downloads or what. Okay, it's taking a while to download this shit. Okay. We're going to try again. Okay, here we got the installer. And uh, yeah, it's taking too long. Yeah. Okay, he's, it's downloading fast now. So once you have the installer of Item Micro, okay, just open it. It's going to um, install automatically. Just go, I, what, I, what I personally do is go to the install path of the program. Just drag it in here. Just get rid of this. And uh, just place all the files of Item Micro inside the Mortal Kombat Trilogy folder. So, uh, I already do this, so I'm going to just copy my personal configuration of the bottoms here, like so. Oh, shit. Like that. So, um, now that you open Anton Micro, you can see that it's minimized here, and if I open it, you can see if I push the bottoms of my controller, you can see that it, 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 it you see that it, the bottoms are recognized. So I'm gonna just minimize this, and I'm gonna open Model Combat Trilogy, and what you're gonna do is just uh, configure the keys. So what I personally do is just open the game, go to options, joystick, just select all these crap so they get disabled. Just go to keyboard. These are the key layouts that I personally use. Okay, so as you can notice, the graphics are fixed, the game is fixed, it works, you know, the background music works, the controller works, and basically everything works. So the last thing that I'm going to teach you is how to create a server, how to play in LAN. It's very simple. Um, so you, all you had to do is open the game, just open the game and go into File and Start Network Game. It's very easy, just click on OK. And the first time you're going to open it, it's going to tell you to open your firewalls. And um, yeah, you have to choose whatever person you want to create the server and the other person who, who want to connect. So the person that it's creating the server obviously creates the server. And once you create, um, you can see that it says waiting for remote player. So the other player should go and, and connect 
and it's gonna find the the server game and you both you both guys are gonna be connected and be able to play together so it's very straightforward um, so anyhow um, you don't want to you don't have to worry about all these configurations that I just made because the game is gonna be already configured I'm gonna leave you these folders once you once you download this little pack that is currently uploading to my mega uh, you will find these three files first the patcher in case you want to use it but it's already installed so uh, there's no need also I'm gonna leave you these two images Sega Saturn and Windows and I'm gonna give you the overall the game already configured with item micro install with DG boot installed and everything installed and also the Xbox configuration already in there so this is the pack that you will be able to find inside my webpage and uh, yeah I hope you like it I hope you enjoy Mortal Kombat Trilogy in my case uh, my personal opinion I think Mortal Kombat Trilogy although you know in, in general Mortal Kombat fans communities Mortal Kombat Trilogy is seen as a as a bad game as a completely broken game with bad combos and you know you can choose even the bosses but I personally think that it's, the game is very fun. It's one of my most favorite Mortal Kombat games ever. My three best, um, fa most favorite Mortal Kombat games are Mortal Kombat 2, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, and Mortal Kombat Trilogy. So I hope you, you guys liked my video. Um, make sure to subscribe and like and visit my webpage. So see you next time and bye.